Right, back another day of fun milling. So this is a bit of oak. It's really windy and cold. Well, it's not really windy, but it's windy and cold. Uh, hits the metal here, this black staining. On any wood that's got tannin in, it instantly turns black with ferrous metal. So in the slab above this, we got one slab off that had a few nails in, but on my first cut, I never hit so much metal. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six nails. Just a ridiculous amount of iron in that. Anyway, you know, chainsaw chain, yeah, I mean, of course it dulls it, but you know, nothing like a bandsaw. So you just rip through it resharpen uh, anyway oh, you can see it on the end I, I knew there was metal because of the staining on the end like here I know there's metal further up the trunk there because of the staining so you know pick your logs pick your logs again I've got my heart crack level could have gone this way I suppose but I went this way and that left the crotch on the right direction there so you know we can lose something on the end this is brown oak here this part here where it started to decay more you'd call that brown oak and then this crotch figure up the end here is pretty nice um, difficult to know whether the camera's picking that up but well if it is it is um, so there we go right just a little um, introduction oh next we're going to mill this cedar if you've seen my cedar cookie link above you'll you'll know that was wicked um, that lump of cedar there is going to be coffee tables so i've got to get that mill before that goes rotten <laughs> Next on the agenda is this sycamore here, and I don't really know how to get through this yet. The bar isn't long enough, that's for sure. It's going to be a stunning crotch. It was a field tree on a farm. The metal was all below the cut here. So we're going to have to taper in. I don't know whether to taper. I think we'll taper this side off and a little bit off that side. We'll just have to see, but that's next on the agenda. Coming up, you know, exciting. Very nice, right, that's real time. Uh, how long did that take? 20 minutes. <laughs> right. It said 23 minutes. No, it can't be, can it? No, it's from when we when I turned the camera on. Okay. It's probably 10 minutes though. The, ch the chain's a little dull, I'm gonna give it a quick rub now. But that, when you get to that point there, that's the bar. It's wide, it's maxed out. That's a 60 inch bar, and that's maxed. So, uh, in oak. You know, English oak, it's harder than the rest. <laughs> you know what I mean? English oak, well hard. Right. Measure the widest part, which is about that 
here in the crotch. One meter eight centimeters. So that's a thousand and eighty. That's that way. It's um, two and a quarter inches thick, so that's 55 millimetres. 55. That goes in a circle, and then you know the thickness. I measure without the bark, by the way. So that will be 76. 760. This one's going to be oak, O-A-K, and this is 203, 55 thickness. Right, now you take a picture. Now I just take pictures of all the details. I take pictures, then I know, um, well when I get home I put it on the website and it's got all the info on the picture, I just transfer it through to the details, you know, the, the stuff. So uh, have a look at the website, it'd be great. Right, we're sharpening this chain. It, it just felt dull in that oak. So we're sharpening. Um, we're taking the mill off just I'm gonna hand file it. I'm gonna do have a jig oh, Keep me to do a sharpening video, but I do have a jig and a, and a Grandsburg sharpener, but I'm just I'm just doing it by hand I don't know it's just I Suppose when you sharpen chains by hand for a long time. That's what you want to do. Anyway, it's super mega easy Ian, do you want to hold that about there? Yep. Right, so I'm on the um, the right hand side of the chain so I get my file in and I'm gonna go down get the bottom of the tooth out and then I'm going to come back okay so you know just a good bit of down pressure and then now I'm coming back there we go next tooth down I'm on my backstroke, I'm just running back along the tooth. So that tooth, look, just there, it's got that little chip on the corner. You won't focus that close. Just a little chip, it's all far back past that. Like two strokes on the tooth, a really light, sort of like polishing passes. Just taking less material in, like one. Just sort of polish that tooth. Yo, right, that's all the teeth done. These rakers here, you see this? Come in closer. That raker there, um, that is too shiny. I don't know whether you can see it, but anyway, if it's shiny, it's rubbing against the wood. So, I'm just going to give him, um, which one did I do? That one. So we'll just mark him with a bit of mud in the tooth. We know where we start. Is that the old method with mud in the tooth? It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's the old woodsman's method. <laughs> Incidentally, this um, plastic tub to catch the filings, uh, the filings will react with the oak, so I'll just put that under there. I think I'll shift it on the floor. And what we did was burn off the leaf burn. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, we'll do that. Any insightful bounties for us today? I'm tired. I'm tired. We'll be on the grinder all night. <laughs> you know what I've been doing, Blaze? 
don't take your acres too much on a milling chain. Take them just right because don't take it too much of any sort. You know, but especially on hard woods, you, you just be you'll do an awful cut. It'll be a rough cut. It's got to be right. Right. So quick sharpen and um, we'll see how much quicker that is. I, I reckon two, three minutes quicker probably.
Why did you leave it there? Why did you run it over? <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant way to box. Matt just emailed me. Matthew C Cremona. I don't know how you say it, Cremona. You know the guy from YouTube. Furniture maker who likes slab stuff. He just emailed me. Hey, <laughs> brilliant. Anyway, you should check him out. He's good. Good guy. Look back together. <laughs> made it all the way <laughs> right thanks a million i hope you enjoyed it take easy back oh i'll tell you one thing it'd be really awesome uh whilst remember you know if you if you want to see anything or you know ask any questions put in the comments and i'll answer them in the next video so you know i always really appreciate the comments means a lot to me. Right, take it easy.